I'm Bahama Mob, and welcome back to another episode of Caribbean Dish. Today, we will be preparing a nice chuck roast. What we're gonna do, we're gonna infuse our roast with sand spare and pineapple juice. Start by applying our rub. Our rub consists of salt, black pepper, red pepper, thyme, and garlic. We're gonna grind up our mixture really good and apply it to our rub. There you go. That's how it looks. So we now apply it to our roast very liberally. Because it's such a large piece of meat, you have to put a good amount of seasoning on the top of it, you know? It's a very thick roast. You want to get in all the cracks. sides very well. What you can do is use some olive oil as a base if you'd wish. It's more like a binder for the rub. It's looking pretty good. And the best roast to me are the ones that has a lot of fat. This is a chuck roast. Okay, that looks to be about completed. Now that we've completed our rub, what we're going to do now is prepare our infusion, which consists of one bottle of sand spare, which is a cup and a half. We also have one cup of pineapple juice. We have two tablespoons of teriyaki sauce and one tablespoon of Worcester sauce. What we're gonna do is take this mixture. We'll start by taking, uh, which is one cup of onion. We'll take that and put it in the blender. We'll also have one clove of garlic. And I put a pinch of salt in the mixture. You can add a bit more, it depends on how you feel with the salt. And then we'll blend it. That doesn't take much. After we've already blended our mixture, we're going to strain it. We're not going to throw the herbs away. Now that our mixture is already being blended, we're going to use a food injector to inject our mixture into the roast. And you wanna do this, you wanna ensure that you're at least an inch apart. You wanna put as much holes as possible into the meat and inject. At least a quarter of an inch per injection. And you will know when it's had enough. The meat is gonna swell really nice. injection, we're going to allow our meat to marinate at least eight hours. The meat is thick, so we want that juice to get all through the meat. Our meat is marinated for eight hours now. What we're going to do is put this in a hot oven, 375 degrees, uncovered for one hour. Then we're going to go back and inject it again. Okay, our roast is out of the oven. It's been in there an hour now. It has a nice toast on it. What we're going to first do is hydrate our meat with 
the pineapple juice and the sands and when we're done I have some crushed tomatoes along with the onions that we used earlier that we used in our mixture we put them together I also already add some salt and some black pepper and some other herbs in here. So we're going to do this for a nice gravy. It's going to be really nice. So we're going to cover this <clears throat> and put this back into the oven for another hour and allow it to cook. Our roast is now completed. What we're gonna do is cut it and take a look at it. Oh, it slides right out there. Look how juicy that looks. This is Bahama Mob. Thanks for joining us on another episode of Caribbean Dish. If you like what you've seen here today, please like and subscribe to my channel. Until we meet again, my friends.